one of the real questions in the myeloma community now is, should we take a three-drug approach for all patients with early relapse? And I think that there's certainly a lot of scientific and clinical arguments to support that. We don't have all the data that shows improvement in survival yet, and I think that's really the one missing piece of information. If you look at the change in the natural history of myeloma over the last 20 years, it really began with thalidomide, bortezomib, lenalidomide, and is now just exploding with carfilzomib, pomalidomide, three drugs approved in 10 days. It's just a really exciting time. And I think at each phase of treatment, whether it's induction, relapse, or maintenance, we need to think about how to bring these new targeted agents in because they clearly are what have changed the natural history of myeloma. Many of the drugs that we use don't target a specific mutation, like they do, say, in lung cancer or breast cancer. Uh, what we're targeting is normal biology, and so at least right now, we don't have the right tools in place to say you should go with an IMID, or you should go with a proteasome inhibitor, or you should go with an antibody. Uh, but that's clearly the focus of a lot of work that's going on right now. A real uh, benchmark for us in the myeloma community was changing the definition of symptomatic myeloma from end organ damage only, the previously reported CRAB criteria, to now including the three myeloma defining events. And the reason I think it's such a big important factor for us is that we're now trying to prevent end organ damage. And in patients that have an abnormal free light chain ratio greater than 100, for instance, we know the risk of renal failure within two years is very high. There's no reason to wait. In patients who have more than one focal lesion by MRI, we know the risk of fracture or cord compression is very high. No reason to wait. And in the third category, greater than 60% plasma cells, we know that those patients are destined to get myeloma very quickly. And again, no reason to wait for the train to fall off the cliff prevent the train from getting to the cliff, and that's really the goal of these new criteria. I think that the traditional paradigm of obser observing patients with smoldering myeloma still is in play. There are obviously a number of clinical trials evaluating early intervention in the context of high-risk smoldering, but at 2015, especially with the new definitions that have incorporated these myeloma-defining events, smoldering myeloma continues to be an area where we either observe or enroll on a clinical trial. Standard treatment is not a recommendation at this time point.